Welcome to APQC's webinar on last mile delivery. We'll be looking at the current state of selected practices from recent APQC research. I'm Marisa Brown, APQC's Senior Principal Research Lead for Supply Chain Management. And I'll be sharing with you today a lot of the highlights from what we recently learned about last mile delivery. I'm going to start with a little bit of background on the research that is the basis of what I'll be sharing with you. And then we'll delve into the detailed results that we've gotten. And then I'll end with some links as to where you can go learn more. So about this research. Last year in 2022, APQC gathered data from 1,157 organizations around the globe, quantitative data, like some corporate performance measures and metrics, as well as qualitative data on key practices. In this presentation, I'm gonna focus primarily on key practices for the cross industry audience. Now, APQC does have industry specific reports that you can access on the same topic in our resource library. We're gonna look at last mile delivery, specifically including things like the methods that are used, the extent of customer real-time visibility, and even the average vehicle capacity utilization. And just to, by, for definition purposes, when I say last mile, what we're referring to is the delivery of a product to its final destination. Typically that's a store or a locker or even the customer location. Okay, so let's dig into what we've learned. And we're gonna start with delivery methods. APQC asked organizations, how are they handling the last mile of delivery? And there's no one consensus, but what we see is that when organizations allocate 100% of their delivery across different methods, the number one most common approach is via in-house delivery fleet. 42% of organizations are using that. And then the second most common method is third-party providers other than parcel or post. So what we see is that how organizations are getting that last mile filled is different. But in many cases, what we're seeing is that the, the processes used are similar. In other words, proof of delivery, almost everybody wants that. And this is something that many of us are personally familiar with. You sit there at work waiting to see, has my package been delivered to my porch? And then of course, now we have the dreaded porch pirates to deal with, right? Those people who steal unsecured packages off of people's front porches, which has given rise to an increase in use of pickup lockers and other more secure delivery locations. But we see that obtaining electronic proof of delivery for customer deliveries is a very common practice. And that can include whether it's electronic customer sign off or the delivery snapshot or even other methods. But at the median or the midpoint, 50th percentile, 80% of respondents in our research are engaging with this. And at the 75th percentile, 90% of them are. So proving to your customer electronically that their package was delivered is common. It's an important part of that last mile delivery. So now we have to wonder what percentage of respondents are able to give their customers real-time status of their order or their shipment. And only about one third of them are able to give this real-time view to some extent. For almost half though, this is available to a significant or very great extent. By pushing this information to the customer through some type of a digital assistant, it can cut down on the volume of inbound contacts from the customer seeking the same information. Increasingly, I think we'll see this shift to the right where more and more organizations are giving customers that real-time status. Now, real-time status is one thing, but last mile visibility is another. So we asked our participants in our research whether or not they allow that customer visibility to extend into real-time status for the last mile of delivery. And here we see that almost half, about 47%, do have customer visibility into the last mile of delivery to a significant or very great extent. Now, I would say that many of us have been trained by our consumer shopping apps or by our rideshare platforms like Uber and Lyft to expect this, right? Just knowing that the order has shipped is no longer enough. 
We want to know where is it? How many stops away is it from my house, from my porch, right? Again, referencing those porch pirates, you want to get there first before they get your package. So typically, the last mile is the least efficient and most complex part of the supply chain. And this is an area where organizations are increasingly paying attention. And one measure that we would suggest that you look at is the capacity of the vehicles that are used for the last mile. In other words, of the available capacity, how much of it is filled when that vehicle is loaded at the departure location, whether it's a plant or a fulfillment center. And then as the vehicle then departs to deliver the products to their final destinations. Respondents reported that the average vehicle capacity that's used when the vehicle is leaving is 85% at the median. And for the top quartile of respondents, their trucks are averaging 90% full, compared to only 77% for organizations at the bottom. In this case, the higher the better. If you fully load your trucks, you can get more orders to more customers sooner, depending on your routing. You can also minimize driver hours that are needed if there are fewer trips to be made. Now, you, one of the other things to consider is that many organizations are seeking to reduce carbon emissions. And for those of us who have returned to office in a congested city, getting fewer trucks on the road or having those trucks make fewer stops, fewer deliveries, we can't overestimate the importance of this and the hatred we all have for traffic jams. So loading your trucks more completely allows them to make fewer trips leading to fewer vehicles on the road. So this is just a taste of some of the research APQC has conducted into last mile delivery. And I invite you to visit our resource library to see the full data report on this topic. APQC members can download it and also take a look at our industry takes on this same set of practices. See how your industry compares to others in the collection that's linked on the screen. I wanna thank you for joining us and welcome you to visit APQC and to contact me for more information. I hope you found this content useful and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.